This is a lighting lesson. Um, we're going to look a little more closely at a lighting fixture that provided by a manufacturer that's missing its own uh, IES profile. That is the default profile that came with it. I'm going to open the thing directly. Um, from my lighting folder. And the fixture is manufactured by Eureka. Revit model is any one of these 47.15. I'm assuming HO means something like high output, uh, the 24 by 36 is the size of the fixture. So it's a circular uh, fixture, so you're going to have even distribution. I'm going to open that family. I'm just going to upgrade from Revit 20. 18, 2010, and there we have the fixture. And there you have the lighting source. Right? So the problem with the light source, and let's select it. Maybe I can change the, the uh, graphics. Does this allow me to do this here? Model categories. Light source. Now all I can do is change the visibility. So anyway, I can select it here. Um, and you can see that the, the source def definition does not come from um, an IES file. It comes from several different uh, light source types. Now, you know, there's some worth reading about the type of the shape of the light source and there's some uh, uh, there's a good photometric uh, uh, document that ex explains the differences between these shapes but what you want here is for this to be a photometric light source now I'm going to click it and hit OK you'll notice a couple things and you wouldn't know this in offhand um, it sells, sets a, a t tilt angle of 60 degrees it's, it's important to know that so I'm going to save this fixture as a 2019 Revit Uh, 2019. That means if you open it in Revit 2020, you'll have to upgrade it uh, with IES and save that. All right. Now, if I want to put that in a project, it's pretty simple. I would open. I need to open a project. I think. Have this mess of a model here, but it will do. <clears throat> so you can see there are a bunch of lamps in there, and I've I've turned on the visibility settings for uh, light source to reveal light source, right? So this ceiling has a number of those lamps that is a Eureka uh, regular whatever 4000k color let's go to the um, 
the model I made and load it into the project. Okay, we can place an instance of it anywhere in this view. I don't recommend doing it in this view, but you can see the difference between it now. The casing, the, the housing is the same, the shape of the enclosure. What's different is, uh, let me show you, for example, if I select this fixture and click Edit Type, Type Editor, right? And I scroll down to Photometrics. It's reporting the original Photometric, which was the light, so the circle spherical. Right, so you get that thing that looks something like an inflated tire tube. Right? But when I select this one and click the type editor and scroll down, because I made that change, I'm able to select a photometric file here. So it loads a default, but you can substitute the one that you need for, I'm going to rather circuitously go to my folder that has that lighting definition. And here are, here's a folder with the IES files. There's the, any one of those is a geometry for that I could select. I don't know what size the fixture was. It's 24, HO. So I could select that one and hit OK. And you see how that changes. Now, what's the point in pointing up? in the air at, at an angle obliquely like that. Well, the problem is it defaults to um, a 60 degree rotation I need to change that to a minus 90 to have it point down. So if I change the angle and apply it, now that that a uh, uh, photometric pattern associated with that light is correct. Like the ones we saw before that I assigned to other fixtures, which make no sense to assign that light pattern to a recessed a fixture, right? Now, there are a number of other considerations that you have to take into effect. The, the distance of the source of that light from the ceiling, and 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 by extension, you know, from the housing of the fixture, what the shape of the fixture, the lens is, the, the the color of the inside of that fixture, whether it is reflective, luminous, uh, you know, some other kind of. I, I've I've seen other instructors <coughs> take and paint. Uh, the inside of those lamps. I, I'm not going to go there with this particular thing, but this is a, an example to show you how that this would be done. So now I can save, I think I did, that with IES, and I will load it in my handouts lighting folder.